Hi, so in this video I want to touch on two topics uh, in the, or two subjects in the Lucy Letby case. And the first is the revelation that um, she nearly gave a baby um, ten times the amount of morphine uh, she should have. So this happened, it was after she'd qualified, but she was still under supervision um, as a as a new nurse. Now, um, I, I feel it, it probably was a mistake, but that is just my feeling. Um, but it kind of hit me um, quite recently. I was thinking, hold on, ten times. Ten times. And I, I'm taking this literally as being ten times the amount. And anyone who's ever worked on a cash register or worked on, on the till, you'll know what I'm getting at. And um, if the you know if the till is out and it's an even pound or it's an even ten pounds or something like that, if if it's um, a complete figure, then this is a very exact figure. And it means that someone's missed a decimal point somewhere, basically. Uh, so, you know, if the till is like £1.36 out, that, that's a, an odd figure. Um, you know, it means someone's slipped up somewhere. Well, you, you've slipped up in both cases. Um, but if it's down by um, £10 or one pound, or multiples of ten, um, or if it's down by 30 pounds, perhaps, but you can go back and look at three occasions uh, where someone might have put the decimal in the wrong place. Um, I, I don't know whether that would happen so much these days, um, because, it, I mean, everything is a cashless society and everything is scanned in. But certainly, uh, you know, for all the time that I was working at Hill, if it was, you know, down £10, you, you would look and see, um, ah, have, have I mistaken a tenner for a pound and, and so on. So what is very possible is that she could have uh, put an extra naught on, put the decimal point in the wrong place, misread the decimal point. Um, I, I don't know how morphine would be measured. So she could have, basically, this is what could have happened there. Um, as to her reaction, um, you know, um, we were told that, uh, I, ca I can't remember the exact words, but she, that's it, she was upset, she became quite upset that um, she was told not to give out any more drugs. Now, I don't know entirely how to interpret that because I didn't see her at the time, I wasn't with her at the time, you know, I didn't physically see her reaction. And sometimes when things get written up um, about your performance at work, it can be very open to interpretation. Um, so, I mean, I hope she did become upset because... Um, that could show that she was conscientious, she was upset she'd made the mistake. Um, and with a gravity of a mistake like that, 
I mean, it could be an instant um, adrenaline reaction. Um, for instance, I've been with people twice when, uh, you know, they've driven the wrong way or they've got caught going over the speed limit. And um, I can tell you it's been non-intentional, but the, the first reaction was panic, panic. No, I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And... Um, it, it is just literally a panic reaction on adrenaline. Um, so I'm not making excuses at all. Um, but as I'm saying, like, I wasn't there. I didn't see, you know, what the reaction was, what, what she said. Um, I'm just thinking what could have happened. Um... You know what might have happened here and the possibility that she might have just said these things in the panic of the moment and then realized later um, you know when she calmed down uh, yeah I made a really bad mistake and um, you know started actually ad addressing it rather than uh, being panicky and uh, going off on adrenaline. So the second thing um, I want to touch on, this is again to do with body language. Now there's three um, main images of Lucy Letby that we've all become really familiar with. Uh, so the first one is her mugshot. Basically, I don't know if it's her prison mugshot, but it's the full picture of just her face. Uh, the second one, she's holding up um, uh, a baby, uh, some baby clothes, uh, because uh, this was a photo, I think, taken for the paper. Um, and the third one, it's um, when she gets convicted. And um, so she's got her hands out. Now her hands are actually more by her sides. And that that struck me. Um, what she does is she puts her hands out. And obviously I'm doing this off, off camera. Uh, turns to the judge and says, uh, I'm innocent. So... We don't know whether she is innocent, uh, but that gesture, the whole way she did it, that does indicate uh, truthfulness. Um, when you're holding your hands out, um, you know, you're bearing the truth as a general rule. Um, if you were being deceitful, about something. Look, officer, I I really didn't do this, and you probably can't see my hands, but they're, they're sort of round about my waist, I guess. So you're exposing your palms. But uh, if you would say, look, hand on heart, I'm telling you, I, you know, I don't know anything about this. Um, that could be truthfulness, but this can also be a sign of deception um, you know because you're trying a bit you're trying a bit too hard and I think it's the comfort um, gesture so you're holding on to yourself a bit um, but the fact that her hands are right down there so she's not trying to portray anything um, if she wanted attention in, in any way for what she was saying, uh, then she would have, she would put her hands more up, but her hands are actually right down by, by her sides. It's just the open palm gesture. And um, she just turns to the judge and says, I'm, I'm innocent. And I think that as well, um, because at that point, uh, she's convicted she's not 
trying to scream and shout and say, I didn't do it. She's not appealing to the jury. She just turns to the judge uh, and says, I'm, I'm innocent with this gesture. Um, I mean, nothing can come of it at that point. And I think she must know that nothing can come of that can come of it at that point. The judge can't, can't suddenly turn around and say, oh yes, I see you're not innocent, I'm, I'm sorry, conviction quashed. Um, that, that can't happen and I know, I, I think she knows it can't happen, um, but it looks like she just wants to say it to the judge, look for the, for the record, for your personal record, I, I didn't do this. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know what you all think. So it'd be really good to see your comments. Um, so yeah, please like, subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.